Hello my soccer nerds for another collection video from my League 1 part, or League 1 wing of the collection. <laughs> no, I don't have wings in my collection yet, but it sounds uh, kind of fancy to say it this way. And yes, it's another PSG jersey. It's now the home jersey from the 1920 season when we started during the cycle of the League 1 jersey review for this season. I went with the third jersey. This home jersey is one, uh, the way I got it was more or less, I saw it at a local sports store for a while, the same one where I got the third jersey, uh, but this one was no, no, the 50, I think it was down to um, even cheaper at, I think 40 or something like that. And you know, it was kind of uh, with budget and then I was going back and forth. It was between that and then the Frost jersey from uh, 2020 uh where they finally could actually use some coupons to get this one so uh, it's a, uh that that that's the difference but i i remember seeing that one in the mall and it was corona times and you know it i needed something to cheer me up a little a, a, a little bit and you know the mall is right next to work i had a, a, i took a little long lunch back there and I, I remember seeing this this one and talking call and call, call calling my wife you know I really have a hard time deciding back and forth, blah, 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 blah. Can I, should I, and, and, and so on in the end, she said, you know, get that one and then use the coupons uh, that I had for the other Frost jersey. And so, yeah, I have them both, although this was really going a lot back and forth. I vividly remember that one. Also, what I remember from uh, this jersey is that when the first time I saw it, this was kind of, uh, you know, up until they celebrated the 50th anniversary, um, ever since the Qataris took, took over, meaning ever since they signed Ibrahimovic, they have been teasing that they know about the HDR design without ever putting it on a PSG jer uh, jer jersey. For me, in design wise, this was one of the darkest periods in the PSG his history because they just, yes, it's always kind of teased in there, but it was always never quite right. Then I saw this one and I said, okay, yeah, almost. You got me. It looks, it is what I want to see. It is a red center band and then I want to have uh, white edges. Problem is the center band is not a band. It's just a, a very thin stripe. So in that sense, yeah, okay. Uh, it was, I deemed it all right. And I said, okay, for the modern era, this is fine. And, and so, yeah, uh, seeing it in play, it looked all right. It didn't look it it doesn't really live, live to my ideal of a PSG jersey but it really really looked all right um so yeah I always had this bookmarked uh as a jersey that uh, that I would like to have and I remember I had it in my Nike uh order on the day that they played in the Champions League final against Bayern Munich there and I would have ordered it for almost full price if they would have won that one back then so yeah but before we talk about a little, little, little bit more of what we can connect with this jersey, I actually would say we'll have a little bit of a closer look at some of the details. Now, this was the first home jersey uh, from PSG with this um, with the new crest that I had, but I had had already the from what the one from the third jersey. And with PSG, I had almost a similar story um, as with other teams. Uh, I think, was it uh, Real Madrid, where I had more away jerseys for, 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 for a while, you know, where I had a PSG away jersey for a long, long time, and then I finally got a home jersey and I bought the third jersey. I kind of wanted to even, to, to even out with a more modern one and, you know, also have the modern crest. Although I actually do like the old one better because it shows the Eiffel Tower a little, a little bit better. I think if the edges you could have small i mean yes we know it's paris but you know keep the eiffel tower and don't distort it so much i mean this is, looks uh, uh, like uh, the eiffel tower where a giant set set on and squall squally together and of course uh, there's not the cradle but it's just the uh, uh, fleur de uh, the fleur de lis in there but okay um as we have it's the design what i don't like about this design is of course that the center band is broken but that there is that there is a big but here in this case it doesn't bother me all the all much because the all of the all accord almost fits in there it is not so egregious if is if if there was another sponsor i mean yes accord limitless 
is maybe a little bit too wide, but you know, this one almost fits in there. So I actually don't mind it all that much. Other than that, that the jersey is relatively simple. Uh, it has, of course, a French flag here. And note, this is still a French flag with the royal blue here. Now the blue is more like the PSG blue, but it's only on one side. And then on the back, it has the center band that we had uh, in that Nike iteration where it says uh, Paris or Paris uh, backpack there, which I find a really, really sweet touch because you don't see it up uh, from, from a distance, but blah, 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 close, it gives you something special to look at. Again, this is the replica version. So, you know, you have the uh, original tag here, which is in silver uh, and all the tags that come with it and where you can, of course, justify that this is a proper Nike jersey. So yeah, I have to say, I really like the stadium versions, especially of this era, 16 to 20, uh, uh, if, if not 2021, 20, because the material feels not only sturdy, but also very smooth and it's very, very nice to wear. As I said, we all remember this jersey worn in the ultimately lost Champions League final, lost thanks to a goal from a player born in Paris with Kingsley Coman. I think he even came from the PSG Academy. Uh, I also re remember that dur during, during that run, Neymar really tried to be the best version of him himself until he, the Bayern just frustrated him so much that he went back to rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and they kind of unnerved him and that's how Bayern won the Champions League final. Um, they also won the league. They won the league cup, and I'm not sure he, uh, the last league cup, as far as I know. But I'm not sure if they won the Coupe de France. I wanna say that they won everything this season. This was the last one before they had a little bit more trouble. Let's put it to put that that way. This was, of course, under Thomas Tuchel, uh, which is still, if you think about it, Thomas Tom, Thomas Tuchel won the champ that the, the champions the next year after and he just was fired because he was probably a little bit too outspoken and the stars didn't really take to him although i think he might have been the best coach the psg had in a long long time but yeah the back is still blank but you know this may or may not change of course this is a uh, this team is for me kind of the transition where it went from a Neymar team to an Mbappé team. It's right there overall. Okay, here it is once more in, in its glory. Please let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, what memories you have with that, that one? How do you like the design overall? Are you li like me that you would like the red a little bit more and that's all, all the time? Or are you, are you okay with PSG experimenting with the home jersey designs as much as they do. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.